dialogue as constructive as it can be is often used to filibuster. I joined Take Back the Sea in August after the injunction was served on North Frederick Street and they said they were holding on to the property um, and I realised that these guys are serious and I need to get involved. The broad aims of kind of reclaiming vacant properties, CPOing all vacant properties in the country that aren't in use and putting them into public ownership, building public housing on them and like capping rents at either 30% of someone's income or 300 quid per room in a house and like that's obviously makes a massive difference in kind of terms of being a young person in Ireland at the moment with no hopes of having a stable place to live or living environment. There's many responses that you could give to the housing crisis. Um, and in this case, it seemed like direct action was the most appropriate response because everything else was failing. If we take a building by somebody who's, who's, uh, who doesn't want the spotlight on them, we thought that maybe we might be able to negotiate some sort of like, you know, it's, it's to negotiate getting some sort of short term lease on it in line with our principles. It was my first act of activism um, and it was just really, really amazing um, and very emotional to see so many people from so many different backgrounds, communities just coming together and working towards a common goal. It was a really nice room, like nice space to use kind of as a space and a hub for organising and, you know, meeting people, meeting other groups. We had a rally outside because it came into effect at about two in the afternoon, I think. It went on for about three weeks after the injunction, which was more than we all expected. I was on Pier Street at the time, and I ran from Pier Street to um, North Frederick Street to get there. And by the time I'd arrived, um, I think two people had been arrested. I do remember at one stage filming a guard pushing a girl off her bike. And after they saw me do that, the guard tried to take my phone off me, so I just turned my phone off and ran. It was just shocking, the, like the behaviour of the guardie and the private security. Like it really, really frightened me, and I couldn't believe that. Like, this is what we're up against. The next day we did a, a protest against the police brutality that we faced up at the Frederick Street and like a thousand people turned up. I think it really legitimised the actions of Tipac City and the occupations themselves. When we were attacked, I think because people believed in what we were doing, they felt attacked as a result of that and, and they felt the impetus then to join us. In general, I suppose conviction that I have is that housing is a human right. It is the basic material uh, requirement that you need to have a good standard of life, to be able to go and flourish. There's so many vacant houses all over the country. Like we don't necessarily have to build new ones. Um, like this property is lying there completely empty. That could be used for public housing, and um, they could be used for community projects. They could be put to better use. Even if you are sceptical about getting involved in direct action, just look at the consequences. People are using our terminology now. People are reiterating our talking points. I think that that's important. My young love said to me My mother won't mind and my father won't slight you for your lack of kind. And she stepped away from me, and this she did 